and welcome to episode number 40 of the Golf Front Podcast. My name is Brett Bevilacqua. I'm a realtor with Carolina Property Sales in Southern Pines, North Carolina. Every Monday, I release a new episode profiling one of the over 60 fantastic golf courses located in the Sandhills. This is the place to live if you live to play golf. This week's podcast is all about Piney Point Golf Club. About 45 miles west from the village of Pinehurst, you will find the Piney Point Golf Club in Norwood, North Carolina. The course is about halfway between Charlotte and Pinehurst, making it worthwhile for those coming to our area from the west side of the state. Also worth noting, and why I played Piney Point, I had the day off and it was pouring in Pinehurst. An hour west, the weather was fine, so I headed off to Piney Point and was pleasantly surprised. Piney Point opened in 1964 and was designed by J. Porter Gibson, but the greens and bunkers were renovated by Chip Powell in 1998, and you can certainly see some of his handiwork on a number of the greens. Piney Point plays just under 6,700 yards from the tips, with a rating of 72.8 and slope of 130. From the whites, it plays just over 6,300 yards, with a rating of 70.4 and slope of 120. The course has a driving range, practice green, and a bar and grill. When I played, the course was empty. I believe that was mostly due to the forecast that called for rain and that I was playing on a Tuesday afternoon in late September. The first hole at Piney Point Golf Club is a medium length par four that runs uphill. The fairway is tight and bends slightly to the left to a relatively small green. The second hole is a dog leg left par five that runs downhill and isn't very long. To get to the green in two, you will have to keep it on the extreme left side of the fairway by hitting over some small trees on the left. To add to the fun, there is a pond just a pace or two off the back of the green. Three is a lengthy uphill par three. It could be a club more. The green is crowned in the center and there is a hint that the edges could throw you off. Not exactly a Pinehurst or Pine Needles turtle back green, but could be trouble around the edges. The fourth is a long dog leg right par four. You won't gain much by cutting the corner and could leave yourself with a fairly tough downhill lie if you get too far down the fairway. From the top of the hill, you will be about 180 to 200 yards to a fairly small green that is protected by bunkers up front. The par 5 fifth is a very short dog leg left. Big hitters may try to get over the tree on the left side, everyone else keep it just to the right. From there, you will leave yourself less than 200 yards to a large green, just avoid the bunker on the left. The six is a lengthy uphill par three. The green is surrounded by bunkers and behind that a number of mounds and trees. The seventh is a lengthy par four with an extreme dog leg left. A fade here for right-handers could leave you with about 130 to a pretty severe back to front sloping green. The eighth is a medium length par five. Off the tee, it is tight and easy to outdrive the fairway. From there, your approach will be straight away to a medium sized back to front sloping green. The ninth will test your length off the tee. You can cut quite a bit of the fairway off by hitting over the lake, and that will leave you about 100 to 120 yards to an elevated and shallow green. For those that don't hit it that long, stay to the left of the trees across the lake. But in doing so, you will need to make up quite a bit of yardage to get to the green in two. Nine brings you back to the clubhouse where you can grab something to eat. The 10th is a medium length straightaway par four. Stay away from the right side and you should be fine. Even though it is less than 500 yards from the tips, the par 5 11th feels a bit longer. There is a slight dog leg right, and the real test is to try to avoid leaving yourself a downhill lie for your second shot. I am not sure if laying up off the tee here is the right move. Had I just had about 10 more yards on my drive, I would have been in perfect position to get to this small green in two. The 12th is a medium length par 4 where you need to hit up and over a hill. When you clear the hill, you will have a nice view of the PD River on your approach. The green is tucked off to the right, and there are bunkers just to the left. 13 got me. This medium length par four is a 90 degree dog leg left, and not knowing the course, I out drove the fairway by about 40 yards. Leave the driver in the bag, as you won't want to go any more than 200 yards. The green is wonderful and so out of place. This green reminded me of something you would see in the Pinehurst area. 14 is a medium length uphill par three, where you will need a club more. There is a large bunker to the left of the green. The green, while not as intricate as the 13th, was still very nice. The back nine really stands out due to a few of these holes. The par 4 15th is another dogleg right where you will need to leave your driver in the bag, but you'll need nearly 200 on your approach. There is a tough bunker to the right of the green. 16 is a lengthy uphill par 3 to a thin but deep green. You will probably need a club more. 
this hull has no hazards but isn't exactly an easy par. 17 is another lengthy par 4. The fairway turns just a bit to the right, so a fade will really help you out. The green is so tough and one of the best on the course. Even though the 18th is a par 5, it is a great finishing hole. It is the shortest of the par 5s, but probably the toughest as there is a very steep hill right in front of what is a shallow green. It is certainly better to be long here, and even though the hole is short, there probably aren't too many players getting here in two. Piney Point Golf Club is an interesting course and the greens were in exceptional shape. The bunkers were certainly better than expected. Though a cart was included with the greens fees, it wouldn't be a bad walk. Greens fees range from $28 to $54 depending on time of year and time of day. It is well worth the cost just for the greens. For more information about golf or memberships, check out their website at pineypointgolfclub.com or give them a call at 704-474-3985. When it comes to golf front property, there wasn't much on the course, though there were a number of homes just across the street or down the block on the PD River. I don't work in Stanley County where Piney Point is located, but I can connect you with an agent who does. If you are looking in the Sandhills, give me a call or text at 845-365-3665 or send me an email to brett at hmpfilms.com and I will show you all the area has to offer. Once again, I'm Brett Bevelock with Carolina Property Sales. Next week, it's back to Pinehurst.